and hello good people of the interest, it is I, Tommy Kelly, this is Adventures in Woo Woo. And in this episode, what I want to do is do a nine card reading for my friend Benny from Patreon, who is a level five patron and a top class man. So his question is, what magic system, method or paradigm should I experiment with this month? So the nine card reading is the spread that I have been... Uh, spending a lot of time with recently and I really enjoy it um, so uh, I will explain the different positions as I go along and uh, yeah so what paradigm of magic or what should Benny concentrate on this month okay the most important card the center of it all <clears throat> and then cards that relate to that so this is the main kind of reading this is what should be done about it. This was what should be avoided. Let's move these up so they're all in frame. And this tells us a bit more about these decisions. Okay, so that's the cards we have. I'm gonna reread the question to get focused. What magic system, method or paradigm should I experiment with this month? Okay, so the very first thing is the planet. So this would um, say to me, being that the planet's the center of it all, this is the crux of it, this is the most important card in the spread. And the planet is about what you are drawing towards you, what is in your gravitational field. It's about your personal power. It's about your place in the universe. Um, but it's like also the kind of, I suppose, the more negative maybe, or not necessarily because it, it is is the stuff that you have surrounded yourself with the ideas the people the situations the circumstances and it's kind of the vision of what i have in my head is like the earth surrounded by all of these satellites and uh, man-made uh you know a lot of kind of crud and debris that's just kind of floating around um, and lots of kind of you know the satellite stuff are beaming stuff down to us how we're seeing it we're seeing the world the universe through the atmosphere all of this so it's all of the stuff that we have accumulated as people or whatever and i suppose the kind of if i was thinking of a paradigm or a method or something like that it would be something along like say new thought or law of attraction or something like that because that's kind of about attracting things towards you or repelling things away you know by who you are and what you think about and uh, some of that i, I find it very uh, unhelpful and, if, and you get very much into you know like your victim blaming stuff and you know that it kind of you can see the world from point of view that if some someone's gone through hardship, then it's this kind of notion that they deserve it on some level, which I think is disgusting. But um, there are, I do also think there's some truth in that, that you know you do attract these things. And Mitch Horowitz has a good kind of outlook at this and goes, um, this kind of stuff does work, but it's only one factor within all of these things. It's not the you know the the main factor, or it's not the main factor all the time. Circumstance, life, the point we find ourselves in the timeline. Um, you know, your proclivities, your physicalness, all of these things that add to it, but this is one of those things. So I would suggest that that's the, what the paradigm has been, is, uh, or the magic thing is to look at, is what are you attracting? What are you allowing around yourself? Uh, in both a positive and a negative thing, like, a, you know, who's the good people around you? Who's the bad people around you? Who's the good influence around you, the bad influences? Who is the, or what is empowering you and what is depleting you? Have it, you have to have a look at that, which is the stuff that is making you more powerful, more radiant, more shining, more illuminated, and which is the stuff that is taken away from all of that, which is um, removing your stuff, taking away your enthusiasm, you know, making you feel, uh, you know, I suppose, uh, worthless or burnt out or any of these things, but also look from a positive point of view, which is which is the stuff is promising too much is saying that you will get, oh, radiant awakening, you are all ego. You know, this is, you are all pervading greatness. This all could all be ego too. And this is all the stuff that needs to be removed, all of the bad stuff that you've held on to, all your problems, all your issues, all your hangups, all of these things. So it's a call to look at all of the stuff that you have surrounded yourself you have surrounded yourself with in about a positive way and what is empowering, what is disempowering, what you need to get rid of and what you need more of. And how to do that or how to avoid. Well, the avoidance 
is saying is not to think it's destiny, not to think that you don't have to do anything, it's that it's predetermined, that it's the way things are. Then in a sense, sometimes we can feel that, um, oh, the way things are, the way things are, the way things are meant to be. And so that you have this notion of that, well, if I want something and I don't get it, then that's the way it was meant to be. Or if something bad has happened to me, that's what's meant to be to make me the person I am. And it's saying, avoid that. Avoid that entirely. Avoid seeing it as a give and take, as a contraction or a, a, a contract in the sense of um, this is going to, you know, if I go through this hardship, I get something good. If I retreat from the world, you know, it, it, it's it'll allow me to get everything I want. It's like doing the opposite. It's, it's, it's like a strategy of doing the opposite to get a positive. If I go through all of this terribleness, this horribleness, I will be brilliant at the end of it. Seeing life as a kind of um, an ordeal in order to grow or something like that, where bad things are deliberately done to you in order to um, you know, become greater or whatever it is. Um, so that's what it's saying to avoid, to, to avoiding retreating from life, avoiding seeing it as um, if I do this, I get that. If I put up with this, I will get the reward and seeing it as kind of like that it's out of your control, that it's just something you have to put up with, that it's the, the divine word of God or something that you have to go through this kind of thing that you ha it's saying that you have a control over this so then what is the advice then to what you actually do well rather than avoid so it's the guru so the guru is about taking all of the knowledge all the things you know but actually using it being practical about it putting it into use rather than ha you know it's the actual magician rather than the armchair magician and so it's like saying you have to do this you actually have to actively do this not think about you know, that this kind of stuff that we have, what do we surround ourselves by? And then do something about it. You know, move into the kind of, uh, you know, do your vision boards or do your affirmations or whatever it is you decide is the way you're going to approach this kind of um, perhaps new thought, law of attraction, reality, trans suffering, something like that. But how you are manifesting, I'd say. And actually do it. Come up with some strategies, sigils, um, rituals, as I say, fishing boards, all those kind of things. But it's also saying that you have to be rational about it and really think about it, what you want, rather than what you think the world is or what you should be. It's actually, what is it I actually want? What is it I want here? Um, what is it that I think I should, I want more of? What is it that I want less of? Rather than what I, you know, people tell me I should want more of or want less of. You know, in, in kind of spirituality, we, we can sometimes have this notion that we shouldn't want things. You know, and, and it's like, start kind of looking at that and, you know, like the, all the stuff about desire and stuff like that from Buddhism that has leaked into the New Age and stuff. Um, and one side and then on the other side of the New Age, you have very much the, the desire and manifesting thing. Have a really think about what you think about it, what it means to you, what it's, it's on paper rather than go, is this an idea that I actually believe in? Should it, do I think that it's wrong to want things or whatever? That is, do I think it's wrong to not want things? Is it more holy to you know, be the monk and the thinker, you know, like uh, have a look at that. And then the, the, the media is saying, well, then and have a look at what you are projecting out. What it is that you're actually saying about yourself, about the world, how others are viewing you and not in a kind of, um, I suppose, uh, worrying too much about what others think about, but what is the actions, the things you are doing? What is it actually, how is that reflected in the world and in other people? In that you could say, well, I think, you know, I'm big into exercise, say, or whatever. But you never actually go to the gym. So from an outsider's point of view, while you think you're, you know, fit and healthy, whatever, people go, well, he's never exercised in his life. Um, is it kind of what you, your inner world and your outer world, are they reflecting in each other? Or is there something congruent or incongruent between the two of them? Um, so yeah, it's kind of, there's something about glamour magic in that as well. That, you know, to give off, give, to work in your aura, your presence, your how you're presenting yourself, because that seems to be a big thing on it. So just to go through the different. So in this line saying, it's like the depleted line, the, the thing that's taken away, say. Um, it's in this because it's seen, you're seeing it as transactional and rather than presenting it in the way that you want it to be. You're saying you have to give these things, you have to do this stuff in order to get what you want. And it's saying, no, you have to just be the person and then you get what you want in a very simplistic method or way of saying it. Um, 
So the sun, the powering, the uh, but going too far the ego stuff, but it's the stuff that you want, say, the, the stuff that's radiant, the enlightenment, will come from actually thinking about stuff rather than retreating and, uh, uh, and going away from the world. It's engaging, not retreating. And practicalness, actually doing stuff rather than leaving it up to the will of God or the will of the universe or saying the way things are or the way things are or how it's meant to be is how it's meant to be. Who am I to, you know, what's for me won't pass me, all of that. The guru says, no, actually do it. Go and get the thing you want. Go and use your knowledge and do what it is you want rather than just always being passive, receptive and allowing the world to tell you who you are. So overall, have a look at that. The planet. What is, what are you manifesting? What's in your orbit? Where is your position in the universe? Where is your position in your life? What have you surrounded yourself with? What is, you know, where's your gravity? What are you pulling towards you? What are you pushing away from you? What is leading you to enlightenment to radiance or more power and what is depleting you not leaving it up to just life telling you what it is go out and get it yourself there you go benny i hope that is helpful to you